apples, along with old-fashioned oats and butter, combine to make your mouth water because today on Grandma Bessie's house, we are making a baked apple crisp recipe, one that you will add to your secret recipe stash. The recipe, along with its ingredients, are found in the video's description. To make the apple filling, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Cut each apple into eighths and cut out its core. With a paring knife, peel the apple skin and cut each apple into chunks. I like my chunks on the medium to large size scale, but cut your chunks to whatever size you prefer. If you are enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up and share it. If you like cooking our recipes or trying out our gardening advice, subscribe to our channel and click on notifications to stay up to date on new content. Place the apple chunks into a pot over medium heat. Add butter to the pot. And coat the apples as the butter melts. Once coated, the apples should have a slight shine to them. Add apple cider. and the dried spices. Stir until fully combined. Raise the heat to high and bring the apple filling to a boil. Once boiling, reduce the temperature to a simmer and cook the apple filling for eight minutes, stirring halfway through. The apple should be firm, but not mushy. While the filling is cooking, pour a little water into the jar with the cornstarch. Combine, and if needed, add more water until you reach this consistency. If you like your apple filling on the thick side, add a tad more cornstarch. Add the cornstarch mixture to the pot and combine. Cook until thickened, about three minutes. Take notice of how the filling has thickened. Remove your pot from the heat and add orange extract, vanilla extract, lemon juice, and honey. Stir to combine all that yummy goodness. What's your favorite fruit or mixture of fruit to bake into a crisp? Let us know by leaving a comment. Spray your baking dish with nonstick baking spray or coat the dish with butter. Add the apple filling to the dish. Evenly distribute the filling and set the dish to the side. To make the topping, melt the butter and add vanilla extract to it. Whisk to combine. In a separate large bowl, add the oats, brown sugar, flour, and salt. Combine the dry ingredients with your hand. Add the butter mixture to the dry ingredients and combine with your hands until all of the dry ingredients have absorbed the butter mixture. If you've stayed on this journey with us and enjoy what you see, like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel and click the notifications bell to stay current on new content. Now go into your kitchen and make this dessert. Top the apple filling with the fruit crisps topping. Make sure it's covered, and I mean 
fully covered. Bake in the oven for 60 minutes. Remove from the oven. What a wonderful treat for your sweet tooth. All that's left to do is garnish the apple crisp with a scoop of vanilla ice cream and sprinkle with a pinch of cinnamon. Thank you for watching another episode of Grandma Bessie's House.